Okay, this is day two of 2019 Canadian Women's Squash Doubles Championships. Uh, this is still a first round match. Oh, and that's a good start for first match for Amy on the right, um, who is playing with Lauren Stafford on the left. They both in the red. And then we have Natasha in the white on the left wall, and then Victoria Simmons on the right. I have uh, Lume Lampman here with me, my twin sister, um, that's going to join me with commentary today. Um, Lume, how was your first round match um, last night? I hope it's a bit of a shaky start last night. Um, I mean, even though we were up far up in the first game, um, I think it was a bit nervous just to settle in, but I think we did well to pull through last night with a, with a solid win. That's good. Yeah, it's always a comfortable feeling to know that you've got the first first round match behind you. And now we can focus on the next one. Oh, that's a good shot from Tosh on the left. Ooh, that was a close one. What's your prediction for this game, Milani? Well, I think uh, Victoria Simmons and uh, Natasha would have the upper hand um, on this match. But um, as you know, that you can never underestimate these matches, especially if there's a Canadian on, on the team. Um, you know, the, the work ethic is just incredible on court. Um, but it will be interesting to see. bit of a miscommunication there from from the red team Got the score up. Four six. I think it's six three for the white team. Yeah, one thing with these teams is, especially the more experienced team, um, you can't ever um, give them open spaces, otherwise you'll get in trouble. Um, but on the other side, Amy's been, been on the tour for, for a while, and, um, and she has some surprising shots in, in the pocket as well. Um, so it'll be interesting to see what will happen. Yeah, you're right on that, Ilani. Um, I think the red team's going to have to try and tighten up a bit and play the ball high over Team White's uh, heads and make sure that they're not giving them anything down the middle. Got a little communication there, miscommunication there with the scores. Let's see if they can fix it. Yep. Great shot from Amy there. 
Yep, you could see the experience came in, but then she knew exactly what she wanted to do with that ball. Whoops. Just an easy let. Unforced error by the red team. Yeah, I think the red team's gonna have to try and play the rallies out a bit more and play longer rallies to the back instead of going too short too early on those, especially against an experienced team like Vic and Natasha. Another mistake from Team Red there. Uh, they're going to have to start minimizing and, like I said earlier, stop playing the rallies out a bit more. Rocket that stretch. was a good pick up. Oh, that's another favorite from uh, Victoria Simmons. Um, she loves to put the ball in the front corner whenever she gets a chance. And um, definitely something that needs to be minimized um, if the red team wants to get in front of it in front of and get the lead. Yep. And then also, as you were talking, another good shot from Team Red from Lauren there. Got the ball back for Team Red. Good shot. Another good shot from Vic Simmons into the right front corner there. And again, if you're going to put the ball there right in the middle on Vic's racket, she's going to put the ball away. Ooh, nice shot. Looks like Vic's got her shooting game on um, this afternoon. Oh, another one. Um, what a shot from Vic. Just threw it out there. Great shot. Okay, so the white team took the first game. 15-7, I believe. Yep, 15-7.
Okay, we start the second match. And a great start from Lauren. Team Reds take the lead in the second game. So too early to say, but it always gives you a little bit of a boost once you guys go that one, two points up. Another good shot from Vic there. Like we said, she's on with the shooting game this morning. What a serve from Natasha there. Ooh. And another one back from Team Red there from Lauren. Looks like everyone's out just to shoot some balls today. Another good shot there from Team Red. Yeah, it's one thing, as we said earlier, that, you know, you can never underestimate these players. Um, they've got pretty good um, hand skills with the racket. Um, at the moment, it's probably going to depend on who makes the most mistakes. Yeah, you're right. And um, like I said, Team Red definitely changed the strategy a little bit and making sure that when they're going for shots that they're actually not making any mistakes on it. That was another good shot from Team Red there from Amy. Putting the ball away in the front left. Whoops. Ooh. Got it out the side pocket. It's a little little ball on the racket. Yeah, usually when, when that happens, you always say sorry, but it's not really a sorry because you want the <laughs> point <laughs> you want the point in the bag. So <laughs> Yeah, I think I think in that situation it doesn't really matter what it looks like as long as the ball goes up. Oh, I'm going. Nice and tight. That was slightly a bit better rally from both teams, just playing the point out a bit more and being more patient on every shot they play, and which it should be, and then waiting for the right opportunity to take the ball in short or go for a reverse angle shot. What a shot. good shot from Lauren there. Looks like she also got her shooting game on form this morning. And force error from White. Especially when it comes into these situations where the pressure is on. Um, you kind of want to do something with the ball where you should rather stay patient and just you know rally it out. So we'll see if uh, 
the white team can put it back together. Oh yeah, <laughs> so that one. Oh, that's a good shot. That's a good shot from Natasha. Another good rally from the ladies playing the ball out and then waiting for the right opportunity to put the ball away. Looks like Vic got a little bit of a racket on there um, against Amy. Good shot. Some unforced errors. This is going to be the make or break stadium of the game. Um, this is going to be crucial whether to see who's going to break through to the second game. Sneaky little boast there from Amy. Good caught both Natasha and Vic off guard a bit and ended up being a good shot. Thirteen eleven for the red team. That would just be a simple let. Another unforced error from Team Red there, and again on the crucial stage of the game. Cool. Oh, and as I was saying, then they Break shot. It back. Good shot from Team Red. It's a big point here is going to actually decide who takes the second game. Oh, oh good shot yes. from Lara. And another one from Team Red and there. And up. <laughs> one all. One all. And I think it's maybe the second or third shot Lauren has played into that front left corner. Gave them this game and it made a huge difference. That was a good strategy from Team Red in the second game. It's going to be.
Okay, so it's one all. Close second game, 15-13 for the red team. Another one from Lauren there in on the left. Looks like she's got that left front corner down for this morning in her game. on force errors early in the game something that we want to try and prevent in order to get a good head start oh, and again like I said earlier Lani that team red's gonna have to play the rallies out a little bit more blit longer longer points of the back and then wait for the time to go short so they just got to be a little bit more patient Looks like Lauren's pretty comfortable there on the on the left wall. Oh yeah, she's won quite a few points on there. Oh, what a shot! Shot good from shot. Tasha there. Um, like I said, a good long rally from both teams, and that's how it should be. And then also just wait again for the opportunity to go short. They're just doing a mic switch. So it's six, 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 four for the team, red team. Ooh, I think it's the first one she missed. Shot from Amy. Even took it there from the back back leg. Another little sneaky boast from Amy. shot from Vic. She's continuously looking for the open spaces to see where she can put, put the red team under pressure. Good shot. Another good shot from Amy in the front left there.
looks like Amy's got the post on the right down with a little bit of a hold and then post and catching the opponents off guard. She's been hitting a plenty of shots from there and winning almost every point. One thing with this red team, if you have uh, a left hand on the left wall, you got to try and see if you can hit the ball a little bit more down the middle to catch both both players on their backhands. And um, I, I think that's what um, Team White's trying to do. Good cross court there from Big Simmons, hitting the ball past Lauren there on the left. shot from Vic down the middle and again like you said trying team white trying to hit the ball down the middle to catch both of um, Amy and Lauren on their backhands that's a good strategy for them oh good shot Another close game here in the 30, Lonnie. What's your prediction for this one? Ooh, it's going to be tough. I mean, I would say I would go for Team White on this game. Probably just because they made a good comeback towards the end of this, this third game. Um, but yet again, it's going to be on who's going to make the, the least mistakes and just rally it out. Yeah, you're right. Um, so it all depends on the mistakes in this game. And again, it's crucial at this stage of the game coming into 10, 11 in the third. And this is when you never want to make any mistakes. Oh, Ooh, great shot from Eddie. Shot. We've had some pretty close um, pro-am matches as well last night. A couple of five gamers, exciting first round matches. And um, we are on day two of the Canadian Women's Squash Doubles Championship. I don't know if you're here with this hit. Yeah. I think it could be gamble. Mm -hmm. We have a little bit of 12-13, uh, I assume. And force error from white. Crucial st stage of the game. Good shot from Red. That was a big point for them. Um, and also at the crucial time of this game. So great shot from Amy. Oh, what a shot. Oh, was that, that was down? down? Oh, that was wow, down. that was close. Very risky shot. Mm. Team White pulled it through 15 14 in the third. That was a close one. And again, just one unforced error from Team Red caused them the game. And again, it can go either way now, so we'll have to see.
Okay, 2 1 for Team White. It will be an interesting uh, fourth game. Good start for Team Red, taking the lead, first point. Oh. Oh. Again, one of those where you're sorry, but not really. But you're still a point you want no. in your bag. Anything counts. Another one from Amy there, putting in the posts. Team White's on the board. A shot from Natasha there. Take another good rally from the ladies and this is what we want to see play the long rallies out and then wait for the opportunity to shoot for it or play into the open spaces Un unlucky and unforced error there from Lauren Have a good shot from Natasha there. Is that good? Good shot. Yeah. Oh, going the other way. Five four for Victoria and, and Taj. They came back after uh, being full up down Good shot. It looks like they just got back into their their rhythm and taking control of this game. She's just asking for let as, oh. as she just clipped Le Vic on the on the backswing. Oh, what a serve! Good serve. Vic putting too much power on that shot. What's your feel about this court? I think the court's actually it's a really fast court, so um, 
if you act, if you hit it too high, obviously you're gonna hit it out like Fig just did. But and also you can't hit it too low because that it's, it's called on court as I felt last night. So I feel like even if the front wall's a little bit fast, if you're not getting a little bit of height, uh, you're gonna start overheating it or you're gonna hit it too short. So it's pretty much just a medium pace game you have to play on this court. Yeah, I felt the same um, last night. I just played a prayer match on, on the court next door. Um, a lot slower than, than this court. And, um, you know, it takes a while to get used to the pace. But once the ball that hits that front wall, the ball comes out a little faster than what you think. All right, good shot from Beck there on the right. Yeah, Team White's got full control over this game. They made a good comeback for being full of down and staying relaxed to, to take control again. Okay, let's see if Team Red can make a comeback in this fourth game. Another unforced error there from Natasha on the left. And again, they're going to have to start playing the rallies out so that they don't start making those early yeah. mistakes in this time of the game. Yeah, that's true. I just want to give a, a, a big shout out to uh, James Hewitt, Steph Hewitt, and Doug, um, and obviously all the sponsors for making this weekend possible. It's always a fun weekend for all the players. And um, since we first time us, it's it's really exciting for us to um, to be part of this event, and so far it did not disappoint. Good shot from Victoria Simmons. Little lob. That's game for, for Team White, 3-1. Uh, Lume, so it looks like we're taking on Team White this afternoon. Yeah, it looks like we'll play Team White later, actually later this evening. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. And again, it's all going to come down to who makes the least mistakes, who's going to take the match. Yeah. Uh, thank you for joining me in the commentary booth. And um, let's do the job. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs>